Well, today my guest is a person who is the Prime Minister of a country which is known as the Spice Island. With me is the Prime Minister of Grenada, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell. He has been one of the longest serving Prime Minister of that country in West Indies. So welcome to Vion. My first question is, how do you see role of your country in the current global discourse and how it can have a positive impact? Well, first of all, we recognize um, Grenada as uh, an important part of the CARICOM family, the, the Caribbean family. And in, in that particular context, therefore, we see um, our region as a very important region as far as the um, regional and international community is concerned. And therefore, we tend to to see Grenada's um, policy and action very much as fitting in the context of the CARICOM family. Mm -hmm. So um, in, as far as the international community is concerned, we t tend to, as best as possible, to take positions that are congruent with what the other Caribbean countries do. So we consult each other. In, in every sense of the word. Mm -hmm. Because being small states, mm -hmm. uh, we accept the fact mm -hmm. that unless we unite mm -hmm. together, mm -hmm. we could be eaten up by the bigger forces mm -hmm. um, internationally. And therefore, we've taken a concrete position that unity is a necessary part of our global outlook and, and as far as the, the region is concerned. Mm. So but, that's how Grenada sees itself. But how do you see your relationship with India? Uh, you've been to India many times. Uh, so how do you see India's role and relationship uh, with India? Well, we see India as a third world developing country. It has mm. uh, definitely, and, and we see ourselves also as a developing country mm. in, in many respects. So in that sense, we believe based on our own colonial mm. past, there is a certain level of identity. Mm. Uh, and therefore, we, we tend to cooperate a lot mm. and see the international community in, similar, in a similar context. Mm. And therefore, when we're looking at issues, for example, India had spoken about your question of, of um, the changes in, in structure of the United Nations. We supported India's position mm. because we see ourselves in the same context. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and also, let's accept the Caribbean um, civilization is made up of, of, of uh, Indians who indentured servants who came over in the region. Approximately 3,000, I believe. Quite a, quite a lot. Well, I mean, I'm talking about the Caribbean, not just Grenada. Oh. As I said, defined before Grenada in the context yeah. of the Caribbean family. The Trinidad, which is our closest neighbor, mm -hmm. that we have a very strong relationship with. 50% um, of the population, the Indians, um, and of course, Grenada has its share. Mm -hmm. And Guyana also is an important part of the Capcom family. Mm -hmm. is almost 50% plus mm -hmm. of, of, of um, Indian, and, and as far as the population is concerned. Mm -hmm. So we tend to take positions uh, very similar to, to the Indian um, um, country as a whole. Mm -hmm. And of course, you, you notice that um, cricket has been a, a main. I was coming to uh, cricket uh, because uh, cricket uh, connects West Indies uh, with India, yes, and you yourself have played uh, yes. uh, cricket. Very much, very much so. And um, in fact, when we launched the World Cup in the Caribbean in 2007, um, we I launched was launched in Mumbai, mm -hmm. and uh, myself, uh, Viv Richards. Um, and a number of Caribbean people flew over to Mumbai to with the with, West, with the Indian cricket aboard at the point in time. And of course, um, I met the Prime Minister at that time, and, and that was my second visit to India mm. uh, um, and as a as a as a leader. Mm. So so that that relationship between India and the Caribbean, based on our own historical circumstances, have been pretty solid. Mm. In fact, in fact, I was teasing. Um, um, a prime minister not long ago, I'd, for since I was I was elected first in Grenada mm. as prime minister in 1995. Mm. Two years later, the prime minister of India in, met him and invited me to pay an mm. official visit, mm. and we were planning. Mm. And <laughs> just before the visit, 
he was ousted as prime minister. Mm -hmm. The new prime minister came in, invited me again, and just before I went, he was ousted again. Okay. So the third one, it happened. So the fourth one invited me. I said, don't invite me yet, because you might get ousted. So okay. we all had a good laugh. Uh -huh. But that's, uh, that's, that's um, the history of it. You know, we have some bilateral relationship. India is doing a few projects. Mm -hmm. in my country, uh -huh. in roads and, and education. Mm -hmm. They provided um, a number of IT experts to help our country develop our technology, mm -hmm. or information and communication technology. So, because as you know, India is literally one of the leading countries in the world as far as IT services. Mm -hmm. In fact, because of your, your investment in, in IT services and education, mm -hmm. you become uh, almost um, a, a leading country in the world as far as uh, modernizing our economy and, and improving the lives of the people through, through, through technological advancement. Mm. So, you talk about cricket, who's your favorite cricketer? In, yeah. in, in, in contemporary times and like uh, the, uh, overall also? Well, uh, my, my, if you're just thinking of what in, in, in the entire world community, uh, clearly Gary Sobers, I would say. Uh, um, to me, my mind undoubtedly probably um, the, the, the world historically so number one cricketer because not only was a, a great not only was he a great batsman mm -hmm. but he was also a, a great uh, um, cricket all-rounder mm -hmm. uh, bowler fieldsman everything Gary did mm -hmm. so uh, as a batsman clearly um, um, Tendoka and Gavaska and Viv Richards and then they rank very very high too so I admire them I like good cricket Mm -hmm. And that's why I, even while I'm, I no longer play the game, mm -hmm. um, I, I watch a lot of cricket. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and therefore, I like to watch recent, the recent series, England versus India. Because uh -huh. I like to see good cricket. I don't like to see one team dominating over the next. Because that's not interesting. Uh -huh. I like to see a case where they have serious competition, uh -huh. excellent bowling, and of course, excellent fielding and, and batting. That's, uh -huh. that's why I see cricket. So how do you see... Uh, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's role because he has been trying to uh, give a different new direction to India's foreign policy, particularly when it comes to uh, countries uh, in the Americas. Well, as far as we are concerned in the region, we have seen um, over the years we have had excellent relationship with, with, it, with Indian government and people. Mm. Um, and, and therefore, that relationship has, has, gone, has grown over the years, irrespective of of the prime minister that exists. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we saw Modi's um, entrance as a continuation of that close relationship between India and Grenada and the Caribbean as a whole. Mm -hmm. So um, we, we continuously give a lot of priority to this relationship. As I said before, we give more our own history. Mm -hmm. It makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. um, your problems that you had over the years before it came independence was similar to the problems that we've had. Mm. Um, and, and therefore, that's why I think that bond between India and, and, and the Caribbean has been so solid. And in this case, my own country, Grenada. So biggest issue in, in front of your country and other countries in the region is the issue of climate change. It has caused a lot of devastation in your country. So what would you say to the world on the issue of climate change? Well, I. I think, first of all, I think we have to accept the fact climate change is, 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 is here to stay. Mm -hmm. There is no question. Anyone wants to doubt mm -hmm. that climate change is a factor mm -hmm. that we have to deal with will be fooling themselves. This is scientifically proven. Mm -hmm. and, and clearly, we have given our world by, by, by the Almighty. Mm -hmm. And we have to protect it. We have to take care of what we have. Mm -hmm. and, and it's clear to, to us, all concerned, that climate change um, is, is, is something that, that we are seeing, the effects of. And, um, and therefore, we in the Caribbean, in my own country, we suffered. In 2004, for example, we, we were hit by Hurricane Ivan, mm -hmm. and we lost 200% of our GDP. Mm -hmm. Our country, almost every home was on the ground. Mm -hmm. All our, our agricultural um, activity, which is a mainstay of economic activity in the country, was destroyed. Our tourism product was literally annihilated. Mm -hmm. um, for, so we had to build back almost a new country, mm -hmm. um, in, and uh, we were successful in doing so. Mm -hmm. And because of the Grenada's leadership um, um, work in build, building back, we have been asked by the international community, I've been 
right now for the last two years, Chairman of Small States Forum, United Nations, mm. um, World Bank, sorry, led institution. And um, in fact, I'm heading on to Bali mm. in Indonesia where I will be formally giving up that particular portfolio mm. as Chairman of Small States for the, for the last, um, last uh, two years. Mm. And I've now been asked to, to become Chairman of SIDSDOC, that's the the United Nations um, organization, which deals again with climate change activity. Mm -hmm. So Benet has been placed in a very, a very serious position of leading in that particular area. So there's no doubt that we have seen the effects, especially small states, mm -hmm. that will have the economy overnight destroyed by one particular activity. We, we have no doubt that this is a, a reality that we must face, and this is something that we have given top priority in, um, to, as far as the Caribbean is concerned and Grenada. So, but it seems there's no consensus on climate change. We have seen America withdrawing from the Paris Accord. H how do you think about well, it? I, I mean, I've seen an American administration. Uh, I, I cannot say America. Let, let's accept the fact that most, almost every, if you check with them, the American population, you do a good survey, you will see 70% of the American people accept that climate change is a reality. So. I think you have a, a problem in the pledge of the administration um, not giving priority or seriousness to the scientific results as, as mm -hmm. proven. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that's a temporary setback. I think it's something that we will, will, the American government and people will come to terms once, not sooner than later in the future, come back on, on, on board as far as that issue is concerned and give leadership as America should be giving to the world community and a serious issue that affects almost every human being. And on India's leadership on the issue of climate change, because India has this policy, common but differentiated responsibility, but India has also uh, this uh, a, 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 a full program on a solar alliance in which a lot of countries have joined. What do you think about that? Well, clearly in, India understands this. Um, on the, India itself has suffered mm. um, because of the effects of climate change. And India understands that fossil fuel uh, is, is a danger to, to, our, to our environment and therefore the more we can use our natural um, 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 products like solar um, to, to, for energy, mm -hmm. the better for our countries. And they are, whether it's solar, whether it's um, hydroelectricity, mm -hmm. hydro products, whether it's the, um, through the water sources, mm -hmm. every alternative energy sources must be explored and not just fossil fuels. Mm -hmm. um, that we've been using, the world been using over the years, which has proven to be a major factor in, in climate activities that we are now seeing. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning of the interview, you talked about how small countries have an important role, but we have seen the current global order changing very fast in which small countries fear that the rule of law might not function properly. It might be detrimental to them. Well, as I said before, I think at some period of time you find based on an action of a particular government in office, mm -hmm. you see some policy decision change. But I, I, don't, I think that is temporary. Mm -hmm. I am I'm clear in my view that we cannot get away from what is actual facts. Mm -hmm. Science is not something up for me and for you, it's for everybody. Mm -hmm. and, and when science speaks, we have to accept mm -hmm. fundamentally. If we refuse to accept that we're going against logic, Mm. And, and if we do that, it has to be a temporary setback. Mm. And that's why I see it. Uh, so you talked about your relationship with India, you talked about relationship uh, with the United States, but there's another uh, 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 power in the entire uh, world, especially in Asia, that's China. How do you think China's rise uh, uh, can help the world or maybe cannot help the world? Well, China is, is a developing country, has reached a stage where it's one of the most powerful countries in the world right now. And, and, and clearly, we have a very good relationship with China too. We have, um, we have the president of China visited the Caribbean recently and, and visited Trinidad, where, where we engaged him as leaders of the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. I have paid about three official visits to, to China myself, and we have a very good relationship. We accept some of, not, not every um, aspect of Ch China's policy and, 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 and um, governance that we accept, but mm -hmm. we believe, I don't have to ha share the, every aspect of your, your, your governance system mm -hmm. uh, for us to have excellent relationship. We respect people's rights to have their own formulation of, of governance uh, that, that they think is necessary. And that's why, because of that uh, position, I'm accepting people 
um, we we have excellent relationship with almost every country. Excellent relationship with almost uh, every country. But uh, uh, you you also talked about how climate change devastated your entire country. Uh, uh, that hurricane that struck your country. Uh, there are lessons to be learned from your country when it comes to disaster management. Yes. What are these lessons uh, which you can uh, uh, share with our viewers? Well, for one, we believe that you, your population has to be mobilized accordingly mm. to understand that um, when, when you have a disaster, it, it affects everybody. Mm -hmm. So you must bring people, they must educate your population as to the, the actual eventual activity of, of, of um, our disaster occurrence. And people must be mobilized accordingly, and they must be able to be prepared all the time, consistently. We've been doing this, a lot of education taking place. We, are, we have brought people, the social partners together, the church leadership, the business community, the, the, um, the NGO community, the trade union movement and government, all working together. To, to deal with this fundamental issue. In fact, we work together on almost every single issue, the mm -hmm. question of economic um, resilience. Mm -hmm. We have been working very closely. In fact, after um, the Grenada's economic um, problems in 2008, we brought our people together and we worked together. That's where our economy is one of the best growing economy in the region today. Mm -hmm. but 10 years ago, it was one of the worst. Mm -hmm. And the only way we succeeded is by bringing people together sharing the problems and, and sharing the benefits that come from successes. And I think that's because of this, I, I think we have seen a resurgence in the patriotic feeling in the country as a whole. Mm -hmm. People working together, we have differences. We have different political parties, but there are things that we should be sharing and working together. Mm -hmm. And that is, the, that is the thing that affects the country's future in a positive sense. So the world is emerging in uh, various uh, formats, trilaterals uh, and of course quadrilaterals and of course big groupings such as ASEAN. Do you think CARICOM can one day match uh, 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 like uh, these big groupings like ASEAN? Well, we wouldn't be able to match, but we should be by uniting our forces. We can strike relationship that can be beneficial to us. Mm -hmm. So whether it's uh, the Open Union, whether Axion, whether it's the Far East, w w relationships and map out for ourselves what is best for us. And I think this is precisely where we're heading. Uh, so my last question on yes. cryptocurrency, there are countries in the region who are adopting cryptocurrency. What's your view on that? I think we have to be careful. Um, this is the technology is there and the opportunity is there, but it's something I have not certainly not yet involved in that yet. Mm -hmm. Some of the countries are talking about it, but no one in the country are yet involved that deeply in, mm. in cryptocurrencies. Mm. So I think it's something that we need to analyze properly. Mm. We, need, we have to have the safeguards for the, for the problems that may occur. And like everything else, um, when, especially when it's new, um, never jump too quickly mm. without understanding completely what it's all about and the, the impact, positive and negative. Mm. And this is precisely Grenada's position. Do you think it can be used by uh, terrorists or groups which can be It can, it can. Society? That's why I say the, 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 the control mechanism and the system put in place to protect the, um, the countries that have to be necessary before you jump into it. Well, thank you so much for speaking to Vion on various issues, whether it's cricket, whether it's India, or whether uh, it's uh, the future of uh, the global world order. Well, it's been a pleasure having you this morning. I hope one day you take the opportunity to come to Grenada. Yeah, definitely. But I, I think there are no direct flights. No, but there are, there are flights you get. I come to India, so you can come to Grenada. Yeah, definitely, sir. Yeah, we'll, we'll come to your country. That's right. Thank you. Thank you, sir.